Well, speaking of food, they are a foodie's paradise. Food carts and food trucks, all the rage in Vancouver right now, popping up on street corners throughout the city. But on the streets of Victoria, the curbside cuisine is well, few and far between. And one councillor thinks it's time for that to change. As CTV's Louise Hartland shows us now, that could open the door to a whole world of tasty possibilities. Introducing the Slapdown, one of the latest taste sensations to hit the streets of Victoria. Grilled cheese with bacon and uh, pierogi. It's good stuff. <laughs> Courtesy of the Hungry Rooster, Victoria's newest food truck, nestled here on Courtney Street. I used to own a restaurant in town for quite many years, and I always thought it would be fun and, and a great idea to have something mobile. But finding somewhere to park the truck was a challenge. Unfortunately, we were not allowed to park anywhere on the city property, so uh, we had to find a private property, and on top of that, it had to be zoned properly. So that's very, very difficult in downtown Victoria. The owners of Puerto Vallarta Amigos food truck say they almost drove their truck to Vancouver out of frustration. It was extremely, extremely hard. Uh, it took us probably about eight months trying to find a, a location. And we had everything ready to go and we, the, the, the permits, they, they definitely uh, stopped us from uh, setting, up, setting up the our truck in a, a specific place. Something Victoria City Councillor Lisa Helps wants to change. I'm really excited about the possibility of bringing them back in Victoria. Helps says it is time for council to revisit the bylaw that stops food carts from parking on public property. I'd like to make it easier, and I think that there are lots of ways to do that. And we don't even need to invent the wheel ourselves because we can look to Vancouver and see what works. So Vancouver adopted a food cart pilot project in 2010. It has been such a success, there are now more than 100 food trucks in the downtown core, parked on city streets, sidewalks, and soon to be in parks. Help says the trucks could be a success here as well. The original bylaw was brought in after restaurant owners complained trucks were driving away their business. But Help says allowing more to set up within certain guidelines will give the city a much needed boost. It creates vibrancy in the public realm. And you only need to wander down Government Street these days to see that we could use some of that. Would you like to see more of these around? Absolutely. Absolutely. Tokarski hopes there will be more food trucks and carts in the city. The more vendors you have, the more crowds come and people have more choices. I don't think it's competition. Help says she will push for a pilot project for summer 2013. And if it goes ahead, you could see more appetizing options coming to a curb near you. A lot of hungry folks would look forward to that. Louise joins us now with more. Louise, uh, you know, street meat's a big part of uh, culture uh, in cities around the world. That's right, Hudson, it is. And food trucks tend to sell international cuisine. But the benefit isn't only to the people who eat them. The city of Vancouver collects $1,000 a year from each of the licensed trucks, and it also collects the revenue from the parking spots they set up in. The four food trucks in Vancouver's parks are expected to bring in more than $30,000, and it will all be filtered back into the park programs. Hudson. Of course, one of the most uh, successful new franchises uh, in Greater Victoria now on the mainland, uh, Noodle Box. I started out in a cor uh, cart on the corner. It did. Lineups around the block. So. Yeah. All right, Louise, thank you. That was good. That the sandwich looks good, too. Uh, it was Pro gone in seconds. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> thank you.